Hey, what's up, Facebook? It's Wasi again. Pardon my intrusion in your daily activities. All right, this a uh, quick video showing what we got going on. Um, this is something a little bit different than the regular sound and lighting stuff that we do, but you know we do we do we do um, a lot of corporate events too and stuff like that where you have to kind of like you know know how to work with HDMI, you know Mac, um, PC, all the different you know softwares that are out there. So it's not just you know the regular like a you know throw up a bunch of boxes and and boom 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 and you know play a sound system throw up some line arrays or whatever but we also have a lot of knowledge when it comes to you know wiring up certain things and getting certain things done so you know when you got like speakers that fly into town and they book these um these large hotels and they have these seminars we do those as well but real quick just something that may help out some of you guys that may be doing something for the super bowl uh we have a few super bowl events that are going on you know, these are all, some of them are outside, like real big events outside with large screens or whatever. So this is how we take care of that. Um, this is a very high power antenna. This is some of the stuff that we use when we're doing the outside events where we have to pull in a signal. But this antenna is amplified. So when it comes to actually pulling in a signal, I mean, you know, right now, I don't know a lot of people are, if they're aware of it or not, but... Channels like ABC, CBS, NBC, they're all mandated by the FCC. Um, so they have to transmit um, in HD. In other words, you have to be able to get their signals for free. You know, cable and satellite is different. But when it comes to like the major broadcasters and their affiliates, they have to broadcast the signal where you could pull it in from the air for free. So with that being said, if you know how to do it, you could get a very, very good picture. I mean, I get like full HD uh, picture with just an antenna, but it has to be the right type of antenna. So once again, this one is amplified. You see that little light on the bottom of it uh, that shows you that there's power going to the antenna. All right, so let me show you how this is set up. This is um, let me I'm gonna turn this TV down. Hold on one second. You know, it's kind of kind of like you know interrupting me a little bit in the background. But check this out. We got this box here. This is what actually is connected to the antenna. This box uh, not only brings in a signal, but it amplifies a signal, right? So this amplifies the signal that it's being picked that's being picked up by the antenna. And this box right here, the the stuff that we use, we like to use like top of the line stuff. But for instance, um, this box right here, by me pressing this button, I could rotate the antenna. See? Oh, you know what? Let me do something else. This is something that I should have straightened out before, but let me just do it now. What I did basically was I was rotating it, but I haven't fixed the actual signal. I mean, not the signal, but the um, the mass. I didn't set it. So basically, it's just kind of loose, and the wire was getting in the way a little bit. But as you can see right there, the antenna goes full 360 degrees, and I can make it go back in the opposite direction. All right, so stuff like that is important because if you look at, the picture that I'm getting, this is like what you get off a of cable, man, or a satellite. And I'll tell you, this thing is like super, super clean. One, 100% uh, high definition, 1080p. So this is just something that I use as a monitor. Like when we're in a tent and we have, you know, like the big screens and it's projecting on the big screen or the LED wall, you got to be able to keep an eye on what's going on in the tent. So that way, you know, the signal is coming in clean. So this is what we use to pick it up. Um, this is one of the stands that I like to use. This thing goes... I mean, ridiculously high. I'm gonna try to. I'm trying to do it with one hand, but I don't know if I could. I could take a step back. But you see how tall this this thing goes up to like 10 feet. So I could have this thing way up in the air, you know, where there's no obstruction or anything like that. But with this type of antenna, the, even the obstruction, it doesn't matter uh, because it's amplified. Like I was saying before. So regardless, it's going to pull in the signal. You know what I mean, it's going to bring it in and amplify it. So that's just one of those antennas that you would want to use. Now, going on to the next piece, we got this right here. This little box is actually the RF receiver. So if you have your TV set and you plug in that coaxial, you know, right here, in the back of your TV or on the side of your flat screen or whatever, this is the actual RF receiver that's inside the TV. But a lot of people don't know you could actually buy the RF receiver by itself without the TV. So that's what I got going on here. So the signal comes in from the antenna uh, receiver here. It's amplified. Then I send it over to my receiver, my RF receiver. And from my RF receiver, 
on the back, I take the uh, the signal, you know, the video and the audio out through the HDMI. Now, with that being said, I'm all hooked up. You see everything is running. I could turn it up. Uh, let me turn the volume up. But everything is going through this little box. As you can see, I'm not pointing at the TV. I'm pointing at the box because the box controls everything, the audio and everything else. Right? So, right now you got the actual volume and the video on the TV. But when you do these outside events, you're going to want the audio to go through a sound system, a PA system. So, that's how I have it hooked up here. I have a Y, a y adapter. Let me turn this back down. It's a... Um, an RCA Y adapter that I have my right channel and my left channel, uh, you know, from the RCA output going into my PA. So the PA would be like a large sound system, you know, or whatever that you could actually broadcast the levels. You know, when you got people tailgating and you're doing a, um, uh, you know, Super Bowl party, it gets kind of loud. So you got to have a good, strong system. But this is just something that I'm using to replicate the, the uh, PA system. So remember, I'm just testing this out. So. I would just turn this on, and you're going to hear the audio coming through here as if this was the PA system. Uh, hold on. Let's give me one second. Let me turn it on. It's got like this sequence that you got to turn it on a certain way. Now I'm going to turn it back up, and you're going to hear the audio coming through this little module right here. So I think that was the most scariest thing ever in my life. So. When the impact happened, it's just, wow. According to FHP, the driver of the SUV... All right, so now if this was, if this um, signal, this audio signal is going into my PA system, you know, I'd be able to, you know, pump it into like a mixer or something like that and be able to control the levels of the audio. So while the video is playing, I could control the levels of the sound at the same time. And everything would be routed through this RF, uh, this little RF receiver box right here. So... Just giving you a, click, a quick glimpse of uh, what we got going on today. These, you know, these are just the setups that we're going to be using this weekend for uh, Super Bowl. You know, throwing them up on some 20, we got some 22-foot uh, screens. So if you're doing like a big outside movie night or whatever, uh, we got screens that are like 22 feet. You know, when I, do, when I do that event, I'll actually take some pictures or probably make a video or something. But the other ones are a little smaller, so I'll probably just, um, you know, lean towards that big event to do the video and the pictures. All right, so if y'all need any sound lighting or any tips on any of this stuff or where to get it from, uh, hit me up. I'll be more than happy to share the info. All right, have a blessed day. Wasi over and out.